Hi, Go. my name is Sophia. Hi, my name is Jordan. Today we are going, going to be reading one of our favorite books, Ivan, the, the Remarkable True Story of the Shopping Mall Gorilla, by Newbery medalist Catherine Applegate, illustrated by G. Brian Carras. In leafy, calm, and gentle arms, a gorilla's life begins. Sophia, what do you see in this picture? I see a gorilla being born, and I guess this is the mama, and she's holding the baby. It says, in gentle arms. The baby was born in a tropical forest in Central Africa. He was part of a large family of western lowland gorillas. Sophia, do you see many gorillas? Like, he was part of a large family? Yes. The troop included babies, juveniles, females, and a male leader, the silverback. I guess, Jordan, do you think this is the silverback? Yeah, I think he's the biggest and, yeah, he kind of like a man. Yeah, he looks like he's a leader. The more the baby gorilla grew, the more, the more he played, the more he played, the more he learned. I, Jordan, what do you see in this picture? I say um, that, you know how it says the more he played, um, he, I think he's playing with another gorilla, maybe his brother or sister. He rode on his mother's back. He listened to the hootie grunts and chest beats of his father. He watched the older gorilla, clever and quick, as they wrestled and chased and swung from mine. What do you guys see in this picture? Okay, I see, um, the chest beats of his father and swung from vines rode on his mother's back. He did not learn about humans until it was too late. What do you guys think this might happen? I think he might get captured because it's too late and then they were playing so I don't know. Poachers with loud guns and cruel hands stole the little baby gorilla and another baby. What do you guys see in this picture? What do you doing? You know how it says stole? He's putting him in a net so yeah. he can take him? Yeah, and I think he came from this um, airplane. After a thousand miles and endless days in a black damp crate, at last came light and fresh air. Sophia, do you see that um, him and another baby are in a crate and they're being taken away? Yes. And I think they look pretty sad that him is crying because he probably wants his mom. And they finally got some money, so that's good. So if they get a good home. The jungle green with life, with life was gone. The gorillas had traveled halfway around the world to Oklahoma, Washington. A man who owned a shopping mall had ordered a paper knife, like a couple of pizzas, like a pair of shoes. During what do you see in the um, Tacoma, Washington, um, I think that the man who owned a shopping mall is going to keep them there. And um, you see them in the crib. Yeah, I see their eyes, right? Out and left and held the babies. They dressed them in human clothes and fed them human food. You can see that they're holding them, they're dressing them, and they're feeding them human food, ice cream. The shopping mall owner ran a name the babies contest. The winning, the winning names were Burma and Ivan. I can see that which one is Burma and Ivan because it has their names on the pillows. One dark day, soon after the babies arrived, in their strange world, Irma died. Without her, Ivan was alone, with too much left to learn. You can see that Ivan is now alone in this picture with his pillow. Yeah, he's probably really upset that brother died because he probably gave him some company. While he was ill, Ivan was cute and cuddly. For three years, he lived in a home like a game child. He slept in a bed and went to baseball games. He held babies and rode on motorcycles. 
I can see that the sentence is explaining each picture. So perhaps I do it like you said event. He had to learn many things gorillas in the wild don't ever need to know. The one thing Ivan didn't need to learn was how to eat. The more he ate, the more he grew. The more he grew, the less he could live a human life in a human house. But what do you see in this picture, Jordan? I think since he's eating that much, then he won't be able to live in a human home anymore. Yeah, because he's getting too big. A cage in the wall became Ivan's new home. There wasn't much to do. Sometimes Ivan watched TV. Sometimes he played with an old tire. Sometimes he finger, finger painted, signing the papers with his thumbprint. Mostly he watched the humans watching him. This must be his new home. And see, um, he got bigger. And now um, this can explain why he's not living in a house anymore. Yeah, maybe because he got big, so he gets more restless, so people can't take care of him. I was about, Ivan was about 13 when his coat began to shimmer with silvery white hairs. He grew into a silverback gorilla in the jungle. In the jungle, he would have been ready to protect his family, but he had no family to protect. You can see that Ivan is alone in this picture, like he had no family to protect. Yeah, he's watching everybody. Year after year passed. People began to grow angry about Ivan's lonely life. Children and adults wrote letters and signed petitions and held protests. I think that they're looking at, I think they did all that stuff because they're really upset that he's all in the cage all by himself and he's all upset because he doesn't have a family. So I think that's why I think they want to make him happy again. And you see these two people, I think she's telling her dad that they should have a protest for Ivan. Yeah, or that he should get home. Ivan lived in his cage without the company of other gorillas for 27 years. Before he was sent on another journey, this time the hands were gentle. Do you see that it says Ivan lived in his cage and for 27 years he was sent? For 27 years before he was sent on another journey. I think that um, he's starting his new journey in this picture. I think that like people are, get, are really nice to him and they're like handle with care, live animal, and they're sending these toys too. Zoo Atlanta wasn't a jungle, it was a place with walls. Still, the breeze carried jungle sounds and scents. Scientists who understood the needs of gorillas helped Ivan adjust slowly carefully, gently to his new life. See how um, this woman is um, taking good care of him and she's showing him that she's nice and she's gentle? Yeah, he probably likes where he is right now more than a museum. Finally, it was time. I Was Ivan ready? Time has clicked, reporters watched. What do you think is going on in this picture? I think Ivan is, um, he's trying to go out with, um, maybe other gorillas since he's at a zoo. Yeah, and he's gonna, and reporters and cameras were watching. So he's probably a little nervous too. Yeah. When Ivan stepped onto the cool green grass, the sunlight glimpsed on his silver hair. People cheered and laughed and wept with joy. Ivan, the shopping mall gorilla, was in a place with trees and grass and other gorillas at last. See, now you see the other gorillas and now that he's a silverback. And now he gets to play with the other gorillas, not just his toys. And people are watching him too. So it's even better not just watching him in the cage. We get to watch him out here. And we've become in gentle arms a gorilla's life began again. Um, since it, um, I think since it was like the same in the beginning, it's like a cycle. And I think this is a real photograph of Ivan, because this was a true story. So here's a photograph of him. I'm gonna go check that out. This is a, about Ivan. This is all about Ivan. 
This is probably this him, is and Bruma. him and Bruma. Real true story. And here's Ivan now. Oh, here's a finger painting by Ivan. So you can maybe find that online. And thank you for listening. Bye.